Okay, welcome to the episode 27. This is getting out of hand, I'm telling you. Um, we still go in English because we have another guest from US of A, this time from North Dakota, uh, an ex crocodile coach, Eric Slowski. Welcome to the show. Thank you. It's great to be with you guys today. Hey, Yari can go first because he, he's got all the questions. <laughs> I've just checked them. And um, possibly allow him to ask him. Go ahead. Okay. No, uh, just uh, how you've been and uh, what you've been d doing uh, after you left Finland. I know you've been here after that too, but uh, kind of like a secret mission here or something like that. But, but what have what you been up to? You, you played, uh, I mean, you coached here 2000, uh, two, uh, 2010. Yeah. I did, yeah. Yeah, I was there. Um, I believe I was in Sanioki for two seasons, 2009 and 2010. Yeah. And then I came back. So, really, for the last, gosh, I guess it's a decade already. Oh, yeah. I that can't even awesome. believe that. Yeah, ten years. Awesome. We've, all, we've aged ten years since I was last. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> if the kids who are getting older, we're not. We're not. Okay, I'll, I'll go with that. I like that definition much better. Um, yeah, last ten years. Uh, really a combination of different things. I have been back over to Finland a few times, been fortunate to do that. Um, but uh, been doing a lot of teaching, um, mostly at the university level. I uh, was teaching at a, a state college for a while in West Virginia, out on the East Coast of the U.S. <clears throat> so I was living about, um, I lived near the Baltimore area for a little while. And, and um, <clears throat> but in West Virginia, I taught at a university for about six years. And when I did that, I was coaching uh, middle school and youth football and high school football because I just wanted to stay connected to it. Um, and then in Maryland, um, also coached high school football and had some pretty good success there. Got into a state championship game in the state of Maryland where the we ended up playing in the same stadium there where the Baltimore Ravens play. So we, that was our state championship game. Um, and uh, so that was pretty exciting. And then about about three years ago, we moved back out to the Midwest here. I uh, went back to coaching at a small college, a uh, small Christian college here in the Midwest. Um, I did that for a little while, but a lot of programs are under pressure in the U.S. And we were kind of in the same situation. Lots of colleges are closing down. Tuition and education is getting more and more expensive. Uh, and we were just having trouble getting kids, like our numbers. In mean, my last season there, well, when I came out here, they had about 20 guys on the roster. And, um, you know, we didn't offer scholarships, just small Division three. And so, uh, you know, they had talked about shutting the program down. Then after the 2019 season, they stepped in and, and made the decision to close the program down because of financial problems and just lack of numbers. And so, so I did, I was coaching there for the last two years. And then, so when that ended, I just decided to pivot and go back to coaching high school football here in the area. So that's what I'm doing. And then um, went into business for myself here recently, just doing some uh, freelance writing, uh, doing some personal development coaching. I got certified with this school in London called the Coaching Academy. So it's kind of taken a lot of the skills that I learned in sports coaching. Uh, you know, the teamwork, the sort of the, the personal self-improvement, the work ethic, the goal setting, and kind of taking all those principles and building them towards, you know, people that just have personal goals, business goals, relationship goals, that kind of thing. So I jumped into that. I uh, do some freelance writing, and so that's kind of where I've been since COVID hit. About, I see what, January. I, yeah. So about the last 10 months, I've been freelancing and so that's the, the world I've been living in, going on lots of podcasts and having fun with that. And, and uh, yeah, life's been pretty good. But yeah. I, I remember your, your kind of like, uh, not lesson, but the, the, the introduction you did uh, with uh, our company about uh, uh, coaching and uh, sports and uh, teamwork in companies. And it was great and uh, our people like it. And I'd like to have you doing that uh, here in Finland again some, sometime in the future. But uh, we'll see what happens when we get these uh, travel things right. Hey, um, how much do you follow NFL and, and, and who do you root for? Well, 
I grew up in this little town called Latrobe, Pennsylvania, and uh, same hometown where the the well the pro golfer Arnold Palmer actually from there past few years back. But the other distinction of this town is it's considered the birthplace of professional football. So Canton, Ohio, got the um, the Hall of Fame, but it was kind of a wrestling match between whether Latrobe, Pennsylvania, would get it or Canton. Canton won out because they've got some history too, but we actually had the birthplace of pro football and also the first professional game that was played in Latrobe. So I grew up with this just kind of, you know, football in my blood, so to speak. And then I, of course, I had to be a Steelers fan growing up like in the shadows of Pittsburgh and the Steelers have their training camp in my hometown. So there's a small college there called St. Vincent College. So that was an annual ritual for me every summer as a kid growing up. And I, you know, I was growing up when all the old Steelers, the old Hall of Famers, the Terry Bradshaws oh, yeah. uh, and, and, and Jack Lamberts and all that group. A lot of them are in the Hall of Fame. And so that was my team. It still is my team. Who's going to be the president of the United States? Gosh, that, that, your guess is as good as mine. You know, if you go by the polls over here. Then the polls say it's going to be uh, Joe Biden. I mean, he, he's got these, by some estimates, eight points, 10 points, 12 point leads. And they're not quite as big in some of the swing states, uh, sort of the battleground. Well, Pennsylvania is one of those swing states, my home state. Some people say he's up by maybe two, three, four points in those states. But um, if you don't believe the polls, which the last time this happened four years ago, the pollsters were wrong. You know, it's kind of like everybody put their money on the Patriots, but the Patriots didn't win, you know. Hey, back to Finland. What, what are your best memories from Finland? Wow, that's I think I could write a book on that, you know, and I've literally written stories about this. And people have asked me to come in and talk on Finland. And, you know, there's always so much curiosity about the Finnish culture in America, like your education system, your, you know, your saunas, your, your way of life. And then, then these, these national or these international things, right? Finland, happiest place in the world, you know, and Americans see this and they're like, Hmm, okay. What's going on over there? I need to check this out. But I, I think like my best memories were probably, um, just the experiences I had with the, the Finnish people like going to summer cottages, uh, you know, to me, that was just like, I loved that period of the summertime uh, in June when you guys just, you pretty much just drop everything <laughs> and you, you go and you spend time with your families you, and your friends, you drink crazy amounts of beer and what other type of alcohol you can get your hands on. You connect with nature, you like just live life and enjoy it. And I think um, those are some of the best memories is just kind of living there long enough to feel like I, I've started to um, experience everyday Finnish life, everyday Finnish culture with the people. Hey, we, we would talk here forever, but uh, it's kind of like time to start the closing this thing. And uh, it was really pleasant to meet you in a, by, by picture again. And uh, when are you coming back to Finland? As soon as I'm allowed. <laughs> oh, really? yeah. Most yeah. I think it's closed off now, but maybe once it opens back up, I'd like to get back over. Yeah. Um, yeah. You, yeah. You know, we, we were looking at, it's been about three years, I think, three or four years since I went through. But um, yeah, I'd, I'd definitely like to try, try to get back within the next couple of years once things open up. Hey, okay. thanks, hey for thanks for joining us. Joining us. And Thank you. Perhaps, Perhaps we will, we see, will you see you again. again. I hope so. I hope so. Thanks so much for the opportunity. Great catching up and really enjoy the conversation, guys. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And I uh, hope, hope good luck to the Steelers, too.